Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amway Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Let's head into Sill and get this amulet uncursed. Already found a hidden door. Not yet. <laughs> On Corthian chest piece. Or not. I'm, only, I'm not even level 30 yet. I'm already finding Prismere weapons. I thought Prismere was the highest tier, like default or base. Weapon, non unique weapon type. Whoops. Yeah, the lightning staff is might be the coolest. I don't know, the fire staff also looks really cool. I'm split between which one I like more. I'm still of the opinion that the uh, staff attack animations in this game are are the best of any game that I've played. With again Dragon Age 2 being a, a close a close second. I mean it is better. I guess we start collecting the uh, Prismere piece. Well, I'm not gonna use a white piece of gear. I'm getting it. Just non-stop Prismere. Okay. Also, I do still see, see the stuttering every now and Well, only in combat. Maybe it's just the staff I'm using. I just didn't want to talk about it because I've talked about it enough. So I'm trying to tailor back my commentary about the uh, stuttering. Dodging me. Oh, it's a crafting component. I was like, what? Core disc. I guess it's it kind of helps uh, that the uh, prisoner stuff that we're finding isn't uh, green or blue or anything. It's just the white gear. Oh. 
Mirror 6 Demise. To the staff? Looted from a nameless ice brine, Coast Barrow. The origins of this weapon are obscure. What is it? Oh, it's a scepter. Don't care for scepters because they take mana to use. I'm not saying that they're bad weapons, but I don't have the mana store to um to use them effectively. But with the right buffs and the right lore stones, or I guess the right abilities and lore stones, you can uh, use a scepter almost indefinitely with all the mana regen and stuff that you get. You know what? Just because I don't feel like dealing with this. There we go. Drop kick, no big deal. So let me see here. Corthian chest piece, leg leggings of beacons. A gift from Massorial Brewmaster, aged in a cask of mead. This armor radiates magical power and sweet, potent fumes of fermented honey. Plus two to finesse abilities, that's really good. If you're using finesse, because then you can just use the set bonus and then you can have whatever accessories you want equipped. Plus 25% poison damage, which is good, because again, with finesse, you get that, uh, the active ability. Uh, that gives you the poison damage and then plus 25% damage with bows is just really good. Very good set piece if you're using finesse. Or set bonus. Set bonuses. When you place the Eye of Amen onto the altar, its glow brightens and then goes out. Alright, so we can fast travel back to the Collector in Amer. Turn this quest in, then we'll go talk to General Talera. Also, I need to clear out my inventory while I'm here. But who would I return it to? Who's this other person? Yes, what is it? What is this? What news do you bring me? I have the amulet. My stolen amulet, and stripped of its pesky curse. Beautiful, isn't it? Now that it won't kill you, that is. Hand it over. And why should I give it to you? I can offer you riches, my friend. Gold. And what is better than that? Anything your heart desires in this world can be purchased. Uh, take the amulet. Ah, justice. Yes, I believe you will go far in our world. Ragged and raging as it is. As for those two knaves, I suspect they will meet with a gallows soon enough. Well, maybe not. One of them's dead. Goodbye. Stabbed by his partner in crime. Hello, 
Hello there. Hello again. I'm gonna hold on to these for now. Um, don't I have gold nuggets I can sell? So much stuff to shift through. I guess I don't need that, so we'll just go ahead and sell it. How are you enjoying your visit? Come again. Need a hand? I'm gonna turn in those Freeman arm armbands real fast as well. Back in Aiton. And then we'll go talk to General Talera. With one extra inventory space. Available. East of Fortunes can be had there for a. Oh, really? Someone finally got a few for Finwick. Keep the peace. All right, let's go and activate this quest. General Tolera. And alas, we meet. Hail. I am General Tolera Ap Gwydion, former commander of the Eastern Alpha forces. Surely you're not the aid Aelin Shear promised. She spoke as if she planned to send a whole squad of soldiers, not one faceless mercenary. Now, who are you? You have the bearing of one that's seen combat, but you never fought in the war, or you would know who I am. Once, I was the commander of Mel Senshir, the Alpha Fortress to the east. I held back the Tuatha at every push before the Baylor came. Then everything fell to pieces. Alright, uh, well, Aelin sent me to help. So, she is behind this. That woman. One too many times she's meddled in my affairs, making promises she never intends to keep. Well, perhaps it is for the best. The fewer people involved in my affairs, the better. You see, misfortune follows closely at my heels. It is the lot fate has cast for me. Uh, windstones. Long after the Arathi left our world, the mortals built these windstones to call them back down. I've never seen them work, but as I said before, I'm not known for my good fortune. Uh, Earl Tusk. Earl Tusk, the tomb of the Divine Fang, the piercing light. With a weapon like that, I could rally the troops at Melsenshir and perhaps redeem myself. They say the ruin is guarded by legions of Niskaro, led by a beast known as Azagal. Whether this is true or the stuff of legend, I don't know. Uh, Talera. Ten years ago, I served the Alpha armies, defending Pluricon and Melsenshir from the Tuatha armies. Then, Witch Knight Malwin led his Tuatha summoners against us. The fiends routed my soldiers at every turn. Now they've had Melsenshir under siege for years, while I've been searching for a weapon to turn the tide. Uh, Rathir. With two other raiding parties along the shores, Rathir has the only port for safe passage across the strait. But after assisting Mel Senshir for so many years, the ruling council of Rathir is loath to offer more aid for what they see as a lost cause. Mel Senshir. Mel Senshir is the gateway into Clericon, but it's been under siege ever since my defeat. I failed the city once. I can't fail them again. Can't or won't? Are they also far? We may be lofty, but we are not weak. 
Our land is cold and harsh, and we have long studied the noble arts of bow and blade. Across a thousand battlefields, my spear paints a red masterpiece. A Baylor. The Baylor is a thing of dread, an Iskaru lord that the Tuatha managed to coerce into fighting on their behalf. Against the Tuatha, I had some success, but no ordinary weapon can best the Baylor. One must fight darkness with light. Right, uh, trust me, I can help. The years have been long since I first learned of the means that might deliver Melsen Shear from the Tuatha. It lies in Earl Tusk, beyond a gate fated never to be opened, in a hall awash with Niskaru. Any who seek access to the ruin must face them. Uh, how would this help the war? These ruins are said to be the resting place of the Piercing Light, a spear carved from the tusk of the Niskaru Duke, Gajor. The legends say it destroys any horror, in the mind or on the battlefield. No place is more deserving of such a power as Melsen Shear. How do we open the gate? For all my years of research, I've only ever found one clue to this puzzle. When the great voices rise in song. It may refer to the wind stones scattered across the plains. They bear a striking resemblance to the stones of this ruin. But that's simply me grasping at answers. Take this chime. It is said to have been taken from the ruin during its construction many centuries ago. I've tried using it on the windstones with no luck. How do we open this gate? The inscription says the gate will open when the great voices rise in song. I think this means the windstones that are spread across Erethel. There's one just a little to the south. Go there and strike this chime near it. I'll stay here to see if it has any effect. Okay. The wind stones are located all across the plains. It's just to the south. King's Ring. Plus 80 health. That's pretty good. Just make sure that things. Yeah. You. They're both just retainers. Be on the front. I. I can't believe it. The gauge shifted? For all my efforts, you simply appear and make it respond. Well, I told you I could help. You couldn't do that yourself? No one could. Not even Fate Weavers. They say that Fate has woven no thread to open these doors. And yet, you've done it. But we must not stop here. Not when good fortune smiles upon us. The gate opens, but you must find the remaining windstones and strike the chimes. I will stay here. The Niskara within will sense the gate weakening. Someone will need to hold them back. Uh, can you open the gate yet? Go sound the chime at each windstone in Arathel. That's the only way to open the gates. Alright, so this seems like it's going to be an extended quest. We'll go ahead and take care of the next part. But we might not be able to finish it yet because we haven't been through the entirety of um, Arathel yet. Shot two of them.
Can't grab that. Disappointing. Let me go ahead and take care of this one. Uh, the other two we'll have to save for later. But most of the quests will be knocked out. Then we can go check out Bristlethorn, because uh, it's bothering me that we still haven't found a quest for that yet. I know that we have Shardfall, but Shardfall straight up sounds like a dungeon that would be quest related. Bristlethorn... I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll map out Bristlethorn and then what we'll do is we'll probably go to Candria next? Work away that way. you guys I'm getting attacked by all sorts of enemies here who else wants some that's what I thought. I didn't realize that they shipped it like that. It's cool. All right, well, let's go to Bristlethorn, I guess. Let's see what's inside. Robe of Reasons. Uh, these garments are all that remain of Miss. Oh, we've already. Okay. Ancient Journal 1. The 22nd day. The magic of this place is wild, ungoverned, and wary. For 22 days, I've walked this blackened hall. Stones with long memory mock my plight. I fear I've lost the light of day. Why was I such a fool? Why listen to tales of treasure when I could be happy with the merchant's wages? I hope this dungeon won't be my final resting place, but the twisting walls would have me believe otherwise. Interesting looking flower. Is that. No, maybe it's not unique. Never mind then. If I keep him stun locked, he's not a threat. Journal 2. Uh, the 28th day. It has been two fortnights now. 
These myopic creatures do their best to waste me, while the walls guide me deeper through the pitch. I can only continue, and hope my salvation lies ahead, and not behind. So you can't knock him out of this attack, I don't think. What if these are part of a quest? Uh, the 39th day. 39 days enshrouded in the earth. The voices eclipse my thoughts and guide me on. Songs like half remembered music, a language long forgotten. I hear their tune and call them friend. It sounds like it's associated with the quest. Day question mark. The count is lost. The chorus now enshrouds me completely. A magic so sublime to blaspheme other thought. Beneath the hymn I hear a rumbling from the fathoms. It sings abrading notes from a cursed lyre. Okay, well we found all the notes. I don't know if there's ever supposed to be a quest in this location or not. But it's been cleared out. And that's all that matters. Still no Corthian chest piece, though. Hopefully I'm not too high of a level to find it, because I think you can be locked out of certain uh, items once you're a certain level. I mean, I guess we can try Shardfall, see if we can go inside of it. You hear a strange sound and then feel a tingle travel through the length. Ah. You hear a strange sound and then feel a tingle travel the length of your body. There is magic at work. I mean, I can't go in. Um. You have absolutely no idea what you've done, do you? Mortals always trying to take something. Thanks to you, the barrier is broken, and the magic weakens. If we do not act swiftly, the Cradle of Summer will be lost. Okay, uh, Trenia. I am a guardian of the Cradle. Tasked with protecting this wondrous place, our great inheritance. Few mortals know how vital the Cradle of Summer is to all life. If necessary, I will sacrifice myself to ensure that the magic here is kept safe. You have jeopardized that mission. My bad. Uh, decline of magic. It is most notable where the power of Ashara spills into our world. Our sacred wellsprings. The font in the gardens of Isa. The cradle of summer. And Ker Elotha. The flow is weakened. Slowing the great cycle. But I don't need to see the fonts to know that all is lost. I feel it in my being, deep where the seasons die. A cradle of summer. It is from this earth where the summer fae are said to have sprung, 
fully formed eternal flowers that never fade. For many seasons, our kind have fought to protect the cradle of summer and its importance in the great cycle. Now what happened? The cradle of summer is a blessed place, and we must protect it from those that wish to make such power their own. My barrier served its purpose for many seasons, but magic everywhere has been in decline. Your disturbance of the lore stones destroyed the barrier. You are responsible. Uh, why must I do this? All of this world's power flows from the wild of Ishara, and there are places where it touches us directly. Our power comes from the single source, drifting in the air around us, a light on the surface. We protect the cradle with a magical barrier. But now that you've tainted the lore stones, I must sacrifice my own power to replace what was lost. All right, I will help restore the barrier. Then come. I will restore the barrier at the font, but you must protect me. The wild fae will be here soon. This is the chance they've been waiting for. Farewell. Uh, sure. You'll pursue this quest. I'm coming. the zealots so much. I realize these guys are considered fey. Darn it. Don't waste more healing on these guys, and I have to. Hey, come here. Hoping that was it for the uh, for the fight.
right. I am so weary, but it is done, and the cradle is safe once more. You have done what is right, and I am pleased to give you this talisman as a symbol of my thanks. Perhaps the first one spoke the truth, that the fonts are running dry, that things are finite after all, for that is how I feel at this moment, drain of all life, an odd sensation this dying. Maybe there is something to mortality after all. Crude Platinum Talisman. Can't even use it. That's disappointing. So does that mean I can't go into Shardfall? I'm gonna try it again. Hopefully I don't mess anything up this time. Alright, well I just walk right on in. Um Doesn't seem like that big of a place. I like the color scheme here though. Go, came out on top. <laughs> well, this feels like a quest dungeon. Bristlethorn, I'm still not, I think maybe I just missed the quest for Bristlethorn or something. So I might not go through here. So I have a feeling we're going to have to go back through here at a later date. Yeah, you know what? My hammer's about to break. I think that's a sign. It's time to, time to leave. But it's weird that I triggered that other quest. Ah, do I have a repair kit? Hold on. If I have a repair kit, we'll just go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go ahead and go through here. Screw it. If we have to come back here later, well, so be it. <laughs> Bezar's Vice. These elegant showy blades belong to the Verani merchant princess Kazara Tenfingers until she was betrayed by her most fabled vice, gambling. All I need is the helmet and the gauntlets for the Prismere set. And then I can put that on instead of the uh, Corthian set.
remember the last time we fought something this tanky. Want to go down? How big is this dungeon? Seems like it keeps going. Oh no. Oh no indeed. Alright, come on, Corthian set. Or I guess at this point, Prismere set. Only it really matters. <sighs> I'll take whatever I can. Because, I mean, the Summer Knight's okay. It just, I don't know, it doesn't match the aesthetic of my character, I think. from up there or am I locked off let's say I'm blocked off all right so I assume we come back here for a quest well shoot that was a waste of time all right well I think I'm gonna call the episode here off camera I will leave this dungeon and I'll meet you guys Probably down here. We'll exit towards Candria. Or maybe I'll go this way instead. No, I'll go to Galifor instead. Or Akatha? Are both these locations Galifor? And then this is just Akatha by itself? I don't know. Regardless, I'll meet you on the eastern passage to one of these two areas. I think we'll go to the northern one. So we can knock out Rathir. I want to say Rathir for last. Actually, yeah, I think we'll go south. Go this way, go up here, knock out this stuff, and then go to Rithir. That's our last stop. Well, we're just here. Let's take care of this real fast. All right, now I can call this episode here. Off camera, I will leave the dungeon and I'll meet you guys down here-ish. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.